welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a phenomenal day today. I know I just started that off horrible because a hair got caught in my arm. Anyone else had that problem? They're only long hair people. Um, that was fun. But today I'm really excited mostly because I need to figure out where I'm going to store some of this stuff because I actually have like two Bath and Body Works hauls to fill up because I can't show everything in one video because there's that much stuff because I have a problem. But some of it's gifts, so I don't feel necessarily as bad as I normally do in my Bath & Body Works hauls because they normally make me feel like a terrible human. But let's get straight into it. Um, I went to my regular Bath & Body Works and me and my sister happened to go to a Bath & Body Works outlet which has changed a lot. I don't know if anyone else has like noticed like changes in outlets but they're not like as like great sales and clearance stuff as they normally are. But let's get straight into it. I literally have like four bags in front of me and I still have like two more that I have to show you guys. But I'll do that in a later video. So let's just start off with this bag. So I feel like it was like a week or two ago. They were doing their hand soaps for like three dollars, but it was like all their hand soaps. So I really wanted some of the hand soaps, so I got more hand soaps because you guys kind of see them up here in the corner, but I store some of my hand soaps down here. Um I think I'm gonna change that. I think I'm gonna move them to a different room. But let's get right into what I have. So in this first bag I got the aromatherapy happiness, which is bergamot and mandarin. And these have what? With natural essential oils. I love the new aromatherapy scents. And I know my camera is going to give me some ish. Okay, he's focusing. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if he wants to focus back into my face. He does. Okay. So, forgive Honey Badger. My sissy did a photo shoot with Honey Badger, which is the name of the camera if you're wondering what that is. Um, and so she did something with the settings. I don't know what she did, so hopefully everything like focuses well for me. Um, it's only halfway know what I'm doing with him. But I really, really like the new aromatherapy line and I love their packaging. I don't know, I just I like the aesthetic of it. But I really, really like this. It's just nice and like clean and citrusy and I really, really enjoy that. And I'm not going to open them because this is going to take too long. Also, no joke, these made me laugh because they were doing, if you made a purchase at Bath & Body Works, they gave you this little pamphlet thing. Um, so both me and my sister got one because we both made purchases. Um, but literally, this is like the same stuff that they would send me in the mail. It's just a free item of your choice and then $10 purchase, a $10 out of 30 a free bath busy with any full-size body care, and a free aromatherapy with any aromatherapy purchase. This is not that exciting. But they're like, oh, where I come in, then you'll get to see, like, a bunch of the holiday stuff. Which, I mean, they're showing, like, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the aesthetic of these body creams. They look really fun. Um, but they're just showing off, like, the holiday scents, which is, like, Winter Candy Apple, Vanilla Bean Noel, like, New Dip. Those are going to come back. Um, yeah. Nothing too crazy exciting there. So there's those. Um, more soaps. So I wanted, because I'm really bad about like only having like two seasons maybe. I typically get a bunch of Christmas stuff and then I get a bunch of like spring scents. Um, but I never get any like Halloween or fall scents. So I saw this one and, and me and my sister both liked it. This was their Spooktacular. It looks like a little mommy. He's really cute. I really like him. Let's see if he, I know there's a big glare on him. Um, but he smells like chilly midnight air. Because midnight air has a scent. Um, dark lavender, which is different than light lavender. And a ghostly black pepper. I actually really want to re-smell this. Does anyone else, I love buying the foam soaps, but I end up, if I want to sniff it, I sniff the other style, the like gel hand soaps. I love this. It's got a very um, earthy scent to it, and I really, really like it. Um, so that one's really good. That one's probably going to go into my bathroom next. And then they have these as like the cleansing, because I guess they are getting rid of these. I don't know. I guess I got these at the outlet. Um, but I really wanted some of their honey hand soaps because I've tried them in store and they feel so freaking good on your skin because they're so nourishing. Because um, they're made with honey butter. Um, so I got the. Honey Lavender Woods, which has like a nice lavender scent to it. I really, really like him. And then I also got the Golden Honey Bloom, 
which is really really nice and floral and then I also got the golden pear because I like pears pears are really nice scent um and then I think there's only one more in here and <laughs> We're looking at this. So lavender is definitely like one of our favorite like hand soaps to have. Um, but we really like the like aesthetic of these like creamy luxe ones. Because look at that. Look how pretty that is. It's literally just for like whatever shimmer that they put in there that we really like these. So, but yeah, I mean, they were normally $6.50 and we got them for 3 bucks. So that was a really good deal. So I like that. Also, not going to lie, look at this receipt. This is like the worst Bath & Body Works receipt I've ever had. Look at this. 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 Oh, literally when I printed out I was like I don't want to look at this this is terrible this is horrifyingly terrible um, but on a side note if you do gifting like I don't know um, like acquaintance gifts like not necessarily like friend gifts but they have like these cellar cellophane bags which I'll show you in a second but they put like they give you like ribbons and like I don't think the tags are in here. I think this is literally just like yeah this is just a bag of ribbons because I got lots of gifts while I was there because I figured like hand soaps and hand sanitizers are very like neutral like they're not like as personal as like doing like lotions and stuff. Uh, so I actually have this oh this is going to be so heavy. <sighs> We were originally going to carry this all in one bag, and then we realized very quickly that was a stupid idea because this one bag is so heavy and there's a sister bag, but I have this one humongous bag ugh, that is literally just filled with hand soaps and hand sanitizers, so I'll show you guys what I got, but see, they have these lovely little cellophane bags, so they've got a fatter one, but I like the smaller one because all I'm going to do is like tie a cutesy little bow on the top and then put the little tag with their name on it, and it's just like a perfect like little like... Merry Christmas, love it. Um, so this one is, let me take them out of the baggie. Um, this is their Fresh Rain and Spearmint. And I think some of these scents that I got, you're not gonna be able to get because I got them at the outlet. So some of the scents are like discontinued or they were like a previous season. So you might not be able to find them at your regular Bath and Body Works. But then I got a hand sanitizer to go with that. And I got the Lavender Rain hand sanitizer. And no joke, I own one hand sanitizer that I actually use, and I very rarely use it because I don't like, I don't know, I don't like using hand sanitizer. It dries out my hands, and irritates my hands, and I'm not going to put them straight back into their baggies, even though that's how I have them inside of here, because that's going to take too long. And actually, no, I am going to do it because then I won't know which ones go with which. Literally, they were like the sweetest people at the South of Body Works because they brought out a cart so we could make sure that like we were matching like hand soaps and hand sanitizers. Um, I'm just going to put him down here. Um, next one, um, I got the Sun Kiss Citrus and Honey. I thought about getting this one for myself, but I didn't care for him nearly as much as I could for some other ones. And I had to remind myself that I no joke have like a dozen hand soaps already at home. And while I do use hand soap very, very regularly, it's not that regularly. Uh, it's not that much. <laughs> Um, and then we got a bunch of these. So this is the BU, and this is just Honey Lavender Woods. But we got them to go with the um, honey soaps, because I think we got one of each of the different honey soaps fragrances to do for the gifts. But don't these just make, like, the perfect little gifts? I don't know. I think they're cute. And this is the only time where I'm like, it's okay to, like, gift with these, like, Bath & Body Works bags. Because no joke, I think giving these bags is, like, so tacky. I hate it. It's like, go to the dollar store and get, like, a dollar bag. Um, this one, you'll have already seen this soap, but it's the Creamy Luxe Soap again. I got that for a friend. And then I got the French Lavender Hand Sanitizer to go with it. So much soap. So little tack. I still got another bag of soap. Um, then I also got the, this one I think is Japanese Cherry Blossom, yeah, the Japanese Cherry Blossom. These ones are my favorite hand soaps because these are the ones that are made with olive oil, and so they're like super duper nutritious for your skin. They were also the best deal on that day because these things are normally like, you don't say, I want to say they're normally like $8, $7, something like that. Um, they're more expensive than the other soaps. He doesn't have his price tag on them. Most of them have a price tag featured... 
somewhere on them, and then I got the Japanese cherry blossom hand sanitizer. I think only a couple of them are just hand sanitizers because I already had some soaps that I um, was going to use. Um, I also got Beautiful Day. Um, so there's the Beautiful Day, and this one smells, how does this one smell? Um, Sunkissed Apple Sparkling, I have no idea what that is, and Wild Days, I don't know, Beautiful Day is one of my hair scents, and then they also have a Beautiful Day hand sanitizer. The only one that I didn't get that was like one of their like regular scents is they had a thousand wishes and a hand sanitizer, but they didn't have a thousand wishes and a hand soap, so I ended up having to knock it down. Um, oh, I got this one. I got to show you guys this hand sanitizer. I'm so like, I thought about getting one for myself just because you'll see. So this is their um, afternoon apple picking hand sanitizer, but hang on, let me make sure this thing focuses. Focus on him. I know he's little. Focus on him, camera. He's got a little fox on him. Yeah, I totally buy things for just the aesthetic of the fact they have a fox. So yeah, apple hand sanitizer, and then I got, um, this is their spiced apple bourbon. And I'm terrible when it comes to, like, shopping. Like, me and my sister were, like, we were trying to pick out scents that we liked, um, for other people, but we were, like, because we don't like, like, sweet scents. Like, if it smells like food we don't typically like it because it's like if I smell like a pumpkin muffin or something like I want there to actually be a pumpkin muffin for me to consume um I know a lot of people like them so we had to we had to kind of control ourselves with that okay these ones are definitely my favorite um so this is and I want to say I got those I don't even know where it is in my haul I swear I got some of these um but this is their purely clean line hand soaps, which I love these because they're also bigger than the other ones because the other ones are like 8 ounces, I think. Yeah, 8 ounces. And these are 10 ounces, so especially with that $3 deal, these were a much better deal and they're nicer because um, they're made with like essential oils or I don't know. Formulated without sulfates, parabens, blah, 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 blah. Don't care. Um, but this smells of fresh limes and ginger and a hint of velvet. I have no idea what that is. Um, but he smelled really nice and citrusy. And then we got one hand sanitizer. Lemon basil or basil. I don't know. Most people call it basil. I call it basil. It's like an English thing. I don't know. I said basil with someone and they're like, what? Basil. Basil. Fine, I'll say basil for you. Um, and then I got another clean Lux. Um, this one is in Kitchen Lemon because, like, who doesn't love lemon? Like... That's such a neutral scent. And then I got <laughs> this hand sanitizer, and this is their Lit hand sanitizer, which is their sparkling citrus. I just couldn't help the fact that it was called Lit. I was like, really? Lit. Um, pop back in there. I'm like trying my best not to lose these because knowing me, I will be ready for like Christmas gifting. That's like the biggest struggle with me is I have no idea where I'm going to store all this stuff. That my cat won't find it. My cat literally has to like put himself on everything and he loves rubbing his face against stuff. So I have to figure out like a closet to stick it on. Um, I got the stress relief you could left experiment aromatherapy because who doesn't need some stress relief? And then they have a corresponding hand sanitizer. That was one thing I really loved. All the aromatherapies. Um, have a corresponding hand sanitizer in their scent, and they also have room sprays, um, which is my fave. Um, I also got the Focus, which is their eucalyptus tea, which is my favorite. Um, I'm so glad this has also become a part of their permanent line now. Um, he doesn't want to focus. Focus doesn't want to focus. There he is. Um, but I love this because it just has like this nice like, I don't even know how to describe it. I want to smell it. It smells so good. Oh. It's like a very earthy, like tranquil, like scent. Like if you were to go to like a spa, this is the kind of scent they have like going out um, in the air. This one's really nice. And then of course I got the corresponding hand sanitizer. I don't know if I'm you guys hand sanitizers unless they're different than the one that I actually got through hand soap. Um, oh, this is the one I kept all the cards. You see these lovely little like Bath and Body Works cards? 
they got like the to and from on the box to make it super easy. Um, this one, I already bought this one. This one's Happiness. That's my sister's favorite scent. Um, so that'll probably end up in her bathroom. Um, I also got... I tried finding guy scents, which is so hard. <laughs> Um, of course, granted, like, guys, since, like, guys, like, I don't know, like, the pumpkin spice latte smells of all the Bath & Body stuff, too, but, um, this one is Garden Sage Mint. I just felt like it looked a lot more, like, masculine style. I don't know. Thoughts? I don't know. I think it looks nice. Um, and then I got it with the Ocean Hand Sanitizer. And go into your baggie. I swear I'm gonna rip one of these freaking baggies. Um, oh my word, we're almost done. Hallelujah. Because I was like, this is getting really long. Um, so that's one. Oh my word, I love this one. If it wasn't for the fact that I already have some, I would have picked up one for myself too. Um, but this is the um, Creamy Lux Hand Soap in Peach Bellini. And he is super duper nice. I love the smell of this one. Because uh, it smells of juicy peach, white apricot, and fresh mango. Also, that reminds me, whoever told me that Pink Lady apples are a legit thing, they actually sell them, once you try them, you'll never go back to regular apples, dislike you greatly because I found them in the store, and then I tried them, and I won't eat any other type of apple because nothing beats the Pink Lady apple, and thanks for turning me on to that. <laughs> um, and then I got the um, Peach Bellini hand sanitizer to go with it. I can't remember if that was like the exact same scent, but yes. I think everyone likes peach bellini. Also, has anyone noticed that peach does not leave? It's one of those things that like never leaves. It's like a continuous like item that they have. Um, and then the last one that I have of the hand soap and hand sanitizer duo things is I got energy, which is orange and ginger, which is one of the few ones from the aromatherapy line that we really don't care for. I think it's energy and comfort. Me and my sister just don't care for. Um, I don't know why I don't like this one. Let me smell it. It's not bad. It's just, it's not something that's, it's just like when you eat something and then you're like, you know, it's okay, like I will eat it and I'll finish it, but I would never like select this thing. Um, that's what this is. Like it's nice, but it's like, I wouldn't pick it up at like eucalyptus tea or like peach bellini. Okay, last bag. I swear, until the next time I film the next one. Um, Maggie. So they had a bunch, and because this one's from a regular Bath and Body Works, they had a bunch of their summer stuff. Literally, I feel like they came out with like three summer launches um, this year. Um, and so they had a bunch of them on sale inside the store, like 50% off. Um, and one of the lines, which I guess they're discontinuing, is like my favorite. And I'll show you guys in a second. Um, but all the summer stuff, I got the Liquid Sunshine Smoothie Scrub. So... Which is nice. I actually think I'm going to give this to my mom because I think when we were shopping, she liked the smell of this better than I did. So I might just pass it over to her. It's nice and citrusy. It really, like, wakes you up. Um, which is not typically what I want because normally I shower in the evening times and I want something to help me sleep, not something to wake me up. I already have enough trouble sleeping. Um, and then I got some of the aromatherapy. Um air freshener, so I got Happiness, which again is like my sister's favorite, and then I also got Relax, which is lavender and cedarwood, which is one of the few ones, I'm surprised we didn't actually put that up in hand soap, I think they have it in hand soap, I'm 99% positive. Um, next, which is no joke, my favorite thing, if you've not tried these, go to your Bath and Body Works, hopefully they'll still have some, all the scents are really, really good, but this one's definitely my favorite, it is the Bath and Body Works lavender and, lavender and sandalwood with natural lavender oil clay body scrub, this thing is so so freaking exfoliating but it doesn't like hurt exfoliating like I don't know when I exfoliate my skin my skin is so uber sensitive so I have to be very careful with what I use on it because certain things will break me out or it'll actually like cut up my skin um but this was so gentle but it really left you feeling really soft and smooth and exfoliated and just smelling incredible I love this stuff so so much but yeah you can kind of see in the cap here let me show you guys Focus on it. See? It looks literally like a clay mask. Um, oh, it's 
smells so good. I'm so excited to finally be able to use these. I've literally been craving wanting to use these in the shower. And I've not been able to because I won't use anything and then haul it because I feel like that's weird. And then the last thing we got, which I know I have one of the items in another bag. Actually, I think I have multiple of the items in another bag. Um, but he was just too cute. Um, so I got this set, and this was actually a really good deal. Um, and I'll show you guys as I, like, pull him open because we did all the price breakdowns inside the store to make sure that he was actually a good value because I'll probably do a video on it um, around in the holiday times, probably in November, on some things to, like, stay away from because there are a lot of Bath & Body Works sets, these prepackaged ones, that are not a savings. Don't pick them up thinking they're savings. Um, you kind of have to, like, pick and choose. Um, but this one was $35 and it came with five things. And I'll show you guys what's on the inside. Um, this is their Be Magnificent. Be Magnificent. Um, look at that. Hang on. Let me show you guys. But you can see it's got like the little beehive aesthetic. Uh, and then it shows what it has on the side of the box. Um, except there's one thing that it's missing because it's not actually like a scent. They put all the like scent descriptions on the side of the box so you can kind of have an idea. But luckily they're selling them inside the stores. So they had the Golden Honey Blossom Hand Soap, which I just realized we also just purchased, so now I have multiple. Um, come out. That's how it stays in there. <laughs> Look at this. It's got this weird little... That's fun. Um, but everything, they have the... It's what they... Oh, yeah. Champagne, apple, and honey, which my sister freaking loved this scent. It smells so freaking good. Um, but this is the whipped body butter, which I'll probably be the one to end up using because my sister doesn't really use lotion that much. Oh, it smells so good. It's just a very, like, it smells like apples, but it's a very, like, strong champagne scent. Oh, it smells so good. And then the things, I don't know how I'm going to get these off. Oh, wait, I have scissors in front of me. Oh. Um, scissors. Try not to stab myself. Does anyone remember that haul that I swear I almost like actually cut myself trying to open up boxes? I think it was an Ulta haul. Was it an Ulta Sephora? No, it's recent. And the bear does not want to come off. <laughs> He's like really adhered to the bar. Um, the bear. To the base. Oh, okay. He did. Oh, I'm really. Does anyone else have issues with like these sticky things? And sometimes they really adhere to their products and they don't actually want to like separate well. And so it leaves the product sticky and it drives me nuts um but this is their um champagne and apple with pure honey bubble bath but my sister really really likes him because no joke the pure aesthetic of look how cute he is and he's got like this shimmery bubble bath like i don't know that one of them because i know we have another one will get used i think she wants to keep it just for the pure aesthetic but it looks really really cute um but i know i'm definitely using one of these because i love taking bubble baths um and then it also came with their um Sun-kissed um, citrus and honey hand cream. And this one's made with honey butter. And it came with a cute little bee. Um, why can't I think of what this is? It's the little holder keychain things. I have another one that's just a classic black because most of them I find very ugly. Um, but this one is really, really, really cute. I love that it's just like a cute little bee design. And I'm actually going to sniff this hand lotion because I haven't actually sniffed him. I hope he smells good. Oh, he smells like straight up sugar. Okay, well, you're going to probably go somewhere else. I have a bunch of these, so I'm probably just going to end up keeping um, the little holder and parting with the lotion. And that's one of the things I love about doing, like, a lot of gift sets, especially, like, the Sephora favorite sets, which I know this is in the Sephora video. This is Bath & Body Works. But I love buying sets and then breaking them up because there might be, like, one or two things that you really like in a set, and it's a good deal. So, super cute. But, yeah, let me get you guys a closer up look of this cute little B. Why don't you want to focus for me, honey badger? Stop focusing on my face. Focus on the B. Focus on the B. B focused. B focused. You don't want to focus. I think there's too much glare for the B, but he is super duper cute. But I think that is it for this one. Yes, besides seeing like literally like 16 pounds of ribbon, which they were so freaking sweet. 
Let me tell you, if you want stuff like this for the holidays, just be really nice to your Bath & Body Works people because I got a total of 30, which I feel like is like a lot, especially considering it's just hand soap and hand sanitizer, but they were so sweet to give me 30 of the bags, 30 of the tags, and 30 of the ribbons, so I'm literally like have to write a name and then I am done with those holiday gifts. Um, so yeah, just be really nice to Bath & Body Works people. If they're going to be giving you stuff like this, like, be cool. Don't be weird. Um, but that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on my videos, get uploaded. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. And if you've not entered the giveaway, it is a limited edition Sephora play bag that was worth like $60. I'll put it up in the cards. Go over to that video so you can see everything inside of it. But it's got like a mini Tom Ford lipstick in it. It's really, really cool. So make sure you guys go enter the giveaway. That's it for this video, guys. Stay boxy.